Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RNK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to the Monogram Towel with Nap Control. We are working in Floriani Total Control Software, Total Control Universal, because you can do anything you want. So we're going to talk about monogramming towels. Now the first rule of towels is it must be, if it's a single monogram, if you're using a bath towel or a bath sheet, it must be five inches tall. So let's visit that. Now if I go to T for text, I've got straight text, circle text, vertical text, text on a path, and we do have monogram text. Now in our monogram text, if you're going to do a two to three letter monogram, it needs to be three to four inches tall depending on your alphabet. Now in our monogram properties box, and this is for monograms only, it comes up as a monogram style. We have 15 classic monograms in here and with the classics you're going to find most of the classics have some kind of decor you see they've got some decoration so i can come in here and right under that i can go to decor and say you know what i want to dress this up and so you can see but there's only about 15 classic monograms that you see used universally but Walter went in, because we have well over 200 monograms, he went in and said, I mean 200 fonts, excuse me, we have over 200 fonts. So Walt went in and said, you know what, Andrew balances, anniversary balances, see the things the thing about doing monogram text is it's got to balance with three letters, and not all alphabets will. But he found 35 other alphabets that would balance. So you have a lot of alphabets to play with in here in our monogramming. But I'm going to go ahead and bring in a new piece of paper because I'm going to do a single letter monogram. So that means I can pick from any text. So I'm going to go for T for text and I'm going to pick straight text. And I'm going to left mouse click on screen. And now I've got over 200 fonts to pick from. But sometimes that can be a bit daunting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I could say, maybe I just want to look at script fonts. So you can see only the script show up. I'm actually going to use an outline font and I'm going to go to manner and that's in alphabetical order. Now I'm going to type in two letters because I want to teach you something, MR for manner. Now, I told you it has to be five inches tall if it's a single letter because we're going to end up with a single letter. I want you to notice we've got something going on here. I put in five inches, you can see. Well, it says my height is 6.87. That's because when you have alphabets, there has to be a standard. And the standard letter is the letter M. So whatever height M ends up is the height that goes in this box. But as you can see, my R, R has a little quail head and a little droopy leg. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments. I want just the R. And I'm going to kind of guess, because each font's going to be a little different on how to adjust for size. And that's about right. So now I'm happy. Now here's the next issue with this font, is that if I look at it, you're going to see that it looks kind of wonky where we have these... Um, wide satins. So I'm going to come in and I do have a measuring tool on my left hand toolbar and if I measure it's going to tell me I've got to use a fill. See once we get to a certain size satin stitches don't work and fonts are usually in satin stitch. So this says 2.36 inches is my biggest it should be. Well I'm at 3.75 is what I've told it to be. So it's pretty good sized. So it told me to use a fill. Well, I'm going to use my properties box for text. Notice none of my fills at the bottom are available. But if I click in the fill in the properties, it shows me all the fills that will work with this R. So I'm going to go to snake skin, apply, and I have taken care of that issue. Now my next issue is going to be fluff. That towel is going to come up in between all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to nap control. This is like magic feature. 
towels, fleece, corduroy, velvet, faux fur, minky. Oh, you, I've been telling you, the sky's the limit. I want it to be underneath this letter to keep the towel down so it can't work its way up through my design or fluff in the middle or in these big places. Now I can decide what size. This is 0.10 inches, which is about 2.54 millimeters, so it's less than eighth of an inch to go around this. So that's going to be perfect. I'm going to say OK. Now this is flat out magic. What it has done is it has created for me a wonderful mesh underlay. Now I'm going to grab the color for my um, nap blocker because I'm going to make it match this to the color of the towel itself. So perfect. So now I will do file, print preview. I will print myself out a template and go. So now let's look at what we're looking at. Let's close this. I do my template on template tearaway. So step one for this towel is find which end the tags are on. You're going to embroider on the opposite end. Fold that towel in half like a hot dog lengthwise. Place a pin in the middle. Now, now what you're going to do is you're going to need to place your template tear away. Now, here's the deal. On a towel with a hem and no doby, that little woven band, you measure up four inches, one, two, three, four, from the hem of the towel to the bottom of your design. Now, that pin I put in is at that center. So I'm going to line up my center vertical line on my ruler lay it along that edge because those towels are never straight. None of this is ever straight. And this letter needs to be parallel to no matter how crooked this is, your letter needs to be parallel. So we make our ruler line go along the hem even if it looks a little bit crooked. Now four inches up is where the bottom of your letter sets. So I use that pin to line my vertical up with and my horizontal I lined up parallel to this. Now if you want to measure from the edge all the way up to this line, then you'd add your two and a half inches for your template and four inches. So you'd measure up six and a half inches to get that. So once I've done that, I'm going to hoop my towel, center my needle. We want to see that this looks good. That's the big thing. We want it to look good on the towel. Once I've done that, I will remove my template. I will then put down my topper tape my topper into place and I'm ready to stitch. I will now stitch out my design. How cool is this? Notice you don't even really see nap blocker. Why? You can see it's right here. In fact, let's go ahead and zoom a little bit. Uh, do you see my nap blocker right here? See it stitches out. It's pretty open. But with that nap blocker, it's going to hold down the fluff of my towel all the way around. And so now my fluff will never obscure the edges of my lettering. And on that R, it would have come up in between and it would have not made this look crisp and clean. But because I have this down, my K will look crisp and clean forever. This towel has been washed at least 30 times. And I want you to see how fantastic it still looks. It still looks like I just did it. It doesn't have that, oh, you got a new machine look. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson on how to monogram a towel using nap control. How cool is that? You'll never have a problem with nap encroaching on your design again. Thanks for coming. See you in another segment. Bye-bye.